Welcome to Cool Hut Channel. Today, we have a 2018 Nissan Pathfinder. It's got an electronic valve actuator for the VVT. It needs to be learned. The module's been replaced. Service information says it needs to be learned. We're going to learn it. We're going to use the top done Phoenix Max. Stand by. Well, you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Okay, first things first. Any of the equipment that you see used in my videos is available on the website. If it's not there, send me an inquiry off the website, toolhutusa.com. That's T O O L H U T U S A dot com. My name is Sam. All right. So we're going to use the top down to do this. It's 2018 Nissan Pathfinder. It is an electric motor for the intake valve. Um, I believe it's going to be for the intake valve VVT uh, variable valve timing adjustment. The shop has put a full timing set in this engine. And this module for the uh, for this electric motor actuator. It's a separate module. The module does not require programming, but it says you have to do this learn procedure after you're done. I do have Nissan Consult 3 Plus, so if this didn't work, I do have a backup plan or plan B, if you will. So we're just going to go in and communicate with this thing and see if we can do it with this. The first thing I do, uh, as I do in most cases, is I do a full system scan just to kind of see where my codes are, see if anything's related. And then being a mobile programmer, I'm not really involved with the car for the repair side of it. So I kind of like to see what uh, codes, you know, usually the shop will clear the codes before I get here and then there's codes in it. And those tell me that those are hard codes. Those are coming right back. So I like to know what they are. I'll let it do its thing here on the full system scan. Uh, this did drive me a little crazy. Uh, you'll see, I didn't cut out the part that drove me crazy. So uh, maybe we can learn something together here. Like I say, this is the first one I've done, and I was kind of curious about the procedure. I did not try the Consult 3 Plus, and my experience so far with the Top Don and Nissan is when it comes to programming or any kind of special functions like that, the Consult 3 Plus seems to do them real well. So, I'll just save the report here. I did cut it out where it was, it doesn't show up here, it's kind of irrelevant to what we we're doing. And then I'm going to just clear the codes and see if anything's popped right back before I do anything here. Uh, this car has been sitting outside probably since the day before, so the engine's nice and cold and I do not have it running. I do have a maintainer on it. So I have not started it. The shop says that it idles real high and that it's uh, all over the place, like 2,500 RPMs to 800 RPMs to 2,500 RPMs to 800 RPMs. It just won't hold steady. But I have not confirmed that at this point. So we're just gonna go right to the engine control module there's that int electric intake valve timing control learning. So it's to start the engine and then push or push start on the learn. And if you notice the RPMs that jumped way up and it's staying down around 1400 RPMs and I'm shutting it off, I'm gonna start over. It says it hasn't been completed. Let 
See, it jumped up to like 2,700 RPMs. It's staying up there. It says learning has not been completed. Start over. So makes you wonder why it's not learning, right? Like I said, it isn't a cold engine, but it doesn't say anything in here anywhere that I can find that says the engine needs to be warm. So it makes you kind of wonder what's going on here. Did the shop misdiagnose something or there's something else I'm missing? Go back into the engine here. I do have the engine running now. But I decided, hey, as long as I'm here, let's just check this thing for an update. Let's just see if there's a update on the piece on the engine control module that's keeping this from happening. Maybe there's an update of calibration that's keeping this from happening. Good approach, right? For a programmer guy. So let's just go see what we got. It just gives me everything that's equipped that is programmable. I'm just gonna choose the engine. It's really the only thing I'm uh, concerned about at all. So let's just pick the engine. And then I'm gonna go to reprogramming. Because we didn't replace the module. This is my calibration number here, the 9PM3F. And this will go, so, or the 3 Edward. So it looks like the part number before and after is the same for the calibration. So there's really no reason to update it. So the ECM is up to date. So I'm just going to go back to the engine again. The engine it has been running. It has gotten a little warmer now. So might as well just see if that's the issue, right? See if it's got to be a warm engine. Wish the directions were more clear. And what we're supposed to do. Go back to work support. I'm just going to go try it again. Why not? It's insanity, right? It says learning has not been completed. Try again. And then it says learning has been completed. Turn the ignition off. Ah, I was successful. So in the process of getting this all done. You know, what? So now I'm going to go up. This the idle is really high. I'm going to do an idle volume learn on this car because usually there's idle you know around 700 or so this one's idle at about 900 but it is nice and warm so Supposed to be under 1200 RPMs, I think, for this to to learn. These signs are kind of funky on their idle air volume learn. They haven't had too much trouble getting one done with the, the top dot. And it does say complete. It does idle down. And it looks like we're good to go. The code did return through all of that hassle. Yeah. So I think we're done. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps somebody in the future um, with one of these.
like I say, I did not try the Nissan Consult 3. I figured that Pat Don would do it. There's no reason to look anywhere else. Questions, comments, all that good stuff down below. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you got. Have a great day.